Okay, guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Hearts Burst into Fire by Bullet for Valentine. I'm going to teach you how to play the intro solo of it. And, um, yeah, it's a really good song. Intro solo sounds pretty cool. It's actually pretty easy, though, so don't get too worried, even though it sounds kind of hard, I guess. But, um, so, yeah, just some advice. You're going to want to tune to Drop C tuning, which if you don't know what that is, um, find out how. And then, um, <laughs> yeah, well, I'll show you the notes, but... And also, you're gonna want to use a distortion that's like a high gain distortion, so you get a lot of uh, drive out of it. All right, so there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you, just so you know what it sounds like if you don't if you don't already. <laughs> Alright, so that's what it sounds like. Well, the verse starts out, it's all, if you notice, it's all on two strings. It's going to be on your second and third string from the floor. But by the way, drop C tuning is going to be C, G, C, F, A, D. So C, G, C, F, A, D. So anyway, the verse starts out, it starts on the ninth fret of the third string. And all these are going to be from the floor, so just to clarify. When I say third string, it means third string from the floor. Second string from the floor. Third string from the floor. Alright, so this is going to be on the third string. And you're going to start on the ninth fret, but I like to slide up to it. Next is going to be the tenth fret of the third string. Then the seventeenth. But now, Bullet from Valentine, when they play this, they do. They just use their middle finger or their right hand to tap. So I, you can do that or just go up to it. But still, just remember the seventeenth fret. So you're going to have nine, ten, seventeen. You're going to go 10, 9, 10, 7. All that's on the third string. Except when you do 7, you slide up to the 7th as well. So that's going to be... Then you're going to hold that for a while, then you're going to go to the 5th twice. So that's your first part of it. Now from the fifth, you're gonna hold this fifth, slide it to the seventh, then strum the seventh. Then you're gonna hold. So wait, let me just play this part real quick. It's hold the fifth. If you notice, I'm I'm playing that note twice. I'm sliding, then strumming, sliding, then strumming, sliding, then strumming, sliding, then strumming. So that's gonna be all on the third string. Hold your five, slide to the seventh, strum your seventh, slide to the ninth. Hold your, or then strum your ninth. Slide to the tenth, strum your tenth. Slide to the twelfth, strum your twelfth. So that's. Hope you can see my right hand. I'm not sure if you can in the video, but yeah, just and that's five, seven, nine, ten, twelve. All slid, then strum, slid, strum, slide, strum, slide, strum. That basic pattern. Now the next part is the tapping riff. The part that goes the That part sounds really fast and really difficult and all that stuff, but it's really not. It's really easy, but it sounds pretty awesome. So which and you really don't have to tap, but the way I'm gonna teach it, I I tap the I tap that part because it's really easy. And uh that's how that's how I've seen Bullet for Valentine do it. And uh let's face it, tapping always just looks cooler. I mean always. Anyway, so what that is, that tapping sequence is root your index finger, this is all on the third string. Root your index finger, yeah, so far all this has been on the third string. Root your index finger on the tenth fret, and then you're going to tap with your ring finger on the twelfth fret. So it's going to be. Then take your middle finger of your right hand, and you're going to tap the fourteenth fret of the third string. So it's going to be. Two, you're going to do this twice every time you do this once. So it's going to be. Then to end it, you're just going to tap this twice. 
then you're your next going to go to your next formation. I'm not sure how many times I just did that or how many times I'm supposed to play it. I think it's like six or seven or five. But just listen to the song for you that part. I have no idea. Next formation, put your index finger on the ninth fret on the third string. Take your middle finger and tap the tenth fret. And your middle finger of your right hand tap to twelfth. So this is the same, same pattern, just different position. So it's still... Yeah, so you're gonna be nine, ten, and twelve. You're gonna tap the tenth twice, then you're gonna tap the twelfth once. Then you're gonna tap that twice, and then slide it to the twelfth fret. And that is the tapping part. So now you've got can I hear the seventh fret of your third string? So wait, where was I? Yeah, seventh fret of your third string. Then you're gonna hold, you're gonna strum it twice. No, just just watch. Just kidding. Then you're gonna slide your ninth fret. Then strum the ninth fret. Then slide to the tenth and strum the tenth. So that's gonna be. Now, after you sl after you strum the tenth, you're gonna strum the fifth twice. All on the third string so far. So that's. And the next part sounds like this. This is the part that's played on the second string from the floor. You're gonna slide it to the tenth fret. Now play the eighth fret of the second string. Now play the tenth fret, but of the third string. So now go back to the eighth fret of the second string. Tenth fret of the second string. Where was I? Now go to the eleventh fret of the second string. Now I go down to the tenth fret of the second string. You're gonna sustain that note for a second, and then you're gonna go to the sixth fret of the second string and strum it twice. And you're gonna hold that note out. So again, I'll play it one more time really slow. That is the intro solo. I'm gonna have the rest of the song. I'm gonna mute this thing. That's better. All right, so I'm, that's the intro solo. I'm gonna have the rest of the song, uh, le another lesson uploaded. So subscribe and watch the next one. So yeah, I'm gonna have the rest of the song in another video. So thanks for watching.